This is a video by Richpin. Today we're going to install a cruise control into a car that did not have one from the factory. The first thing you want to do is disable the airbag. You want to remove the airbag fuse which is located in the fuse panel inside the car next to the passenger kick panel. Next install the cruise module that will give the airbag system time to drain down before you tackle removing the airbag. Now hopefully when you went to the junkyard you remove these three rubber grommets. Now the airbag connector is taped to the loom. You'll see it. It has a red connector on it. just position the module through the rubber grommets. There's three 10 millimeter size nuts that hold the module on. Now for the electrical connector, it just pushes on. Now the connector for the gas pedal just pushes right into a slot that's in the, the pedal arm and it clips right in. Next we move the two access covers on each side of the steering wheel for the airbag mounting bolts. They're 8 millimeter head size bolts. Remove both of those. Once the airbag module mounting bolts have been removed, remove the airbag to gain access to the back, unclip the lock, take a screwdriver and then pry the electrical connector off the airbag module. The last thing to do is to make a cutout in the steering wheel cover. Now what I've done here is made a template from the donor car in the junkyard, transferred that over to this car that didn't have the cutout. Then I used a small coping saw to make the cut. Now when you mount the switch you'll find the electrical connector for the switch is taped to the wires underneath the steering wheel. Clip that into the switch. It can only go in one way. Then you'll find that there are two pre-tapped holes in the steering wheel. Hopefully you remove the two Phillips head screws from the donor car then it's just a matter of installing the switch with the screws. After that, then it's a matter of putting the airbag on. 
and hopefully the system works. Now if it doesn't work you'll have to have the computer programmed to see the cruise. You can either go to the dealer and have it programmed or go to the junkyard and get a computer out of a car that had cruise and had all the options that your car has.